our uh, past honorary mayor and Walk of Fame chairman for many years, Johnny Grant, would have loved to be here today. So in his memory, we declare this Ralph Lawler Day in Hollywood. Yeah. And it's your turn to speak. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, LaRon. I really appreciate it. Thanks to all you who have come out here, uh, uh, fans and friends of the Clippers, the uh, former players. It's really great. Chris Paul representing uh, the current crop of players. Chris, it's great on a day off to take your time out to be here. I'd like to find a way to tell you how much this means to me, and it's not, not easy to do. But let me start with the fact that this is not just an affirmation of my career. It's an, an acknowledgement of the acceptance that the Clippers have gotten in the community. This would have been impossible uh, 10 or even five years ago. But all of a sudden, since Steve Ballmer bought the basketball team, they bring Doc in as president of basketball operations, Gilly in as president of business operations, everything has changed. I can't tell you how different it is. And now the city can finally, without any fear of uh, any problems, embrace our basketball team. And that, that's really a happy time for me. But let, let me go back further to give you an idea of what this means to me. I, I'm thrilled about a number of things today, but here at the corner of Hollywood and Vine, I first stood on that corner, believe it or not, 70 years ago this summer, 70 years ago. I was an eight-year-old boy. My mom and dad brought my sister, Jean, who's watching this uh, on the live stream in Bend, Oregon, as we speak today, brought us out here from our humble home in Peoria, Illinois, to see what Hollywood was all about. Dad was a showman, been in the theater business all of his life, uh, starting as an usher in movie theaters to managing and eventually owning uh, a string of theaters. And so we stood at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. I was a star-struck eight-year-old. Went, oh my goodness. I didn't realize then that 15 years later, fresh out of college at Bradley University, I'd come out here as a college graduate in 1961 to work for a radio station in Riverside, California, owned by uh, an, an iconic showbiz figure, Dick Clark. And I then came back to Hollywood to, to soak it in and kind of remember from my early years having been here. Then the Walk of Fame had begun, and I stood and I'd see these stars on the street. And I had dreams and aspirations, but I was never bold enough to dream that someday I'd be standing here today and get this star. People say it's long overdue. I'm not sure it's even due. People say you deserve it. I'm not sure I deserve it, but I'll sure take it, folks. <laughs> this is a thrill. My dear wife, Sweet Jo, who, those of you who follow my career, you know, you know her as well or better than you know me. She's been the wind in the sails of my ship uh, since the very beginning, God love her. Uh, she was a Clippers season ticket holder in San Diego when I met her. And I'm guessing that Joe has witnessed firsthand as a fan more Clipper games than anybody on the planet Earth. <laughs> and Doc, if you think I feel good or bad after a game, to, you ought to see her after a loss. <laughs> uh, it's really great. But So she's here. and. All three of our kids are here. Six of our seven grandkids are here. They've come from as far away as London, England. Uh, friends from all over the country have, have shown up. I am uh, so thrilled and honored and humbled by your presence. And uh, I, I thank uh, Hollywood, the city of Los Angeles. I spent 30 some years working in this city. Who would have ever dreamed that for this small town boy from Peoria, Illinois? One more thing, I'm especially happy it's in a radio category. I think most of the, the fans who have shown up today think of me as a TV guy, but my roots are in radio, uh, and I'm an old radio guy, just a small town radio guy from Peoria, Illinois, and to be here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is the greatest thrill in my professional life. Thank you very much. Thank you.